we are at the first Pan-Arab Contemporary Art Show at the 54th Venice Biennial. We've brought together Edge of Arabia, a contemporary arts platform to promote Saudi art, the Abdul Latif Jamil Community Initiatives, Abraj Capital, and curator Lena Lazar from Sotheby's in London to bring together 23 artists from across the Arab world. We've got artists who are exploring social concerns, political concerns, financial concerns, um, inequality. The initiative was formed by Stephen Stapleton, Abdul Nasser Garem, and Ahmed Matur, who met in 2003 at an arts village in Saudi Arabia, and together conceived an idea of bringing contemporary art from Saudi uh, to the rest of the world. The above piece um, is by Ahmed Matur, who's a Saudi artist. When Ahmed was young, he and many other boys his age would take antenna, go to the roof of their house, and try and get television channels from surrounding countries, because in Saudi Arabia they had almost no TV access apart from maybe one or two government channels. The idea of the illuminated antenna is this idea of reaching out for knowledge, aspiring to things that are not reachable in the present moment. The next piece is by an artist called Abdul Nasser Garem. It was made in 2001 and is a rubber stamp with a wooden handle. It's actually an enlargement of a very typical piece of stationery used in many administrative positions in, in jobs in Saudi. It's usually to ratify decisions which other people might not be happy with, but because of your seniority, you can make that stamp and there's no more discussion. And so using this as an artist, arguably controversial, but at the same time showing perhaps the influence and the power of being an artist in a society, particularly in a society that's not maybe used to contemporary artists. This next piece is by Ahmed Matur, a Saudi artist. A series of used gun caps that are woven together to create an almost manifesto which Ahmed refers to as the cowboy code. It's taking a Western emblem and it's looking at it obviously from his background and his experience as someone from Saudi Arabia. And it seems to be reinstating virtues in a character that over the years has been attributed with many negative associations. We have things such as protecting women, um, being patriotic. He's certainly showing that there is some kind of bond between ideals in the West and ideals in the East and somehow being more unitary than divisive. This is a piece that promotes a sentiment of peace, of good relations between different people, different ideas. This piece is by an artist called Ayman Yusri, who's Palestinian but has residence in Saudi Arabia. It's composed of six panels with ihramat fabric, which is the same fabric used by pilgrims who travel to Mecca every year for Hajj, or the Islamic pilgrimage. From a distance, all these cloth patterns look the same, but upon a closer inspection, upon a more focused approach, you can see that each are different. The artist is exploring the idea of a kind of social utopia, a one where the power is at the top of the pyramid, but we're aware of just how much a ruler's responsibility is towards his or her people. This piece is by a female artist from Saudi Arabia called Manal al Doyan. It's called Suspended Together and is a series of white porcelain doves, each with um, a, a visa stamp. Um, of an actual uh, citizen of Saudi Arabia. To be a woman in Saudi Arabia, you have to have the jurisdiction of your husband, your brother, uh, or another, a male guardian, in order to leave the country, even for holidays. When you look at the piece, it looks like an expression of freedom. It's birds flying, but they're suspended, and they're trapped, and they're frozen in that moment. It really is an authentic snapshot of what is happening right now in the Arab world and what the artists in the Arab world are concerned with.